you? Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I can help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. Better not go rushing in. Let's talk about that one. That wasn't very clever. Put the damn weapon away. That was lucky. So, here we are. Far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodwin. Try that again, and you'll regret it. You don't need that much ore anyway. So you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you of all people is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So what do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. 
let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some after all. Really not. How's it going? Good. With me, you don't need to worry about Diego anymore. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, huh? That's the way it is. As long. Hey, you! Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten ore and you're in. What do you say? See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Put the way. So, you do know what's good for you. How's things? New here, are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. That's really not my problem. It was obvious that there was trouble. Eh? That's really not my problem. Hang on. I hear you've spoken to Bloodwind. Why? What do you want? It was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. Put the weapon down. Come back, you, you pussy! You shouldn't believe everything you hear. As long as I'm not involved. Same old story that every time. Clever. You have to Hang watch on. what you tell me. You better not go rushing into anything. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Hang on. You better not go rushing into anything. You're very probably right. Put the weapon down! Ah! I'll be in a bad mood if you keep fiddling around with that weapon. He's just running off! Come on, put... People always... <laughs> Wasn't very clever. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. There must be something about that story after all. How often have I told you bastards not to run through my hut? What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. Hey you. I learned you didn't want to pay protection money to Bloodwin. What do you want? To warn you. Bloodwin paid some people. They're gonna do you in. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there, and God knows who else he hired. Your warning about Herrick is a bit late. He must have talked to somebody else as well. That much I know, so do take care.
I was in the sect camp and met Melvin. And what did he say? Apparently, he likes it more than getting harassed by the guards. Hey, man, he has all the fun for himself. I have to go there, but I'll never make it out of the camp. Really? Why not? The guards have found out that I want to leave. I guess I talk too much. I need at least 100 ore to bribe the guards. What if I gave you the 100 ore for the guards? You'd do that? Why? Well, let's say you aren't the only one who'd prefer you to hang around in the sect camp. You mean you want to come with me? I will go with you to the sect camp. Great, man. I'm ready. We can start as soon as you want. But don't forget, we need 100 ore for the guards. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's take the south gate. The north gate is of no use. It's impossible to bribe the guards there. And perhaps you should see to the ore? I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Okay, let's move. Where you think you're going with our friend? We're just going for a stroll. Here's 100 ore. Why oh, never saw anything?
Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. May the sleep... Here's somebody who would like to make your acquaintance, Master. Who have you brought me? Is he worthy? He will certainly require your spiritual guidance, Master. Very well. From now on, he shall be one of my disciples. You will come to my hut every day to listen to my words. Your soul can still be saved. <laughs> 